Should you buy The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom? Well, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom came out yesterday, and wowzers. Yesterday was a fantastic day for those of you who've gotten the game. But for those of you who are watching this video and probably still haven't got the game, A, should you buy it? Well, let's talk about it. Now, if you like the traditional Zelda experience that you use your sword and shield and you do some dungeons and stuff to get yourself different artifacts and different things, it's kind of similar, but also, if you like Tears of the Kingdom, it's a lot more similar to that than it is to a traditional Zelda experience. They kind of blended two, two and two and put it together and called it a day, you know what I mean. Now, this game essentially has the physics of Tears of the Kingdom, allowing you to do and use your mind as you will. There was one time at the point of the game, I walked into a cave and then I noticed that there was a hard piece on top of the ledge. Now, there's an obvious way forward that you have to climb things. I put my big brain together and used two trees and a bed to get myself across. Now, that was a fantastic way to get yourself across. And, you know, it just made me feel so good to be able to, you know, figure it out myself. Because figuring things out yourself just feels so good. It just feels amazing. Anyways, then there's a whole lot of side missions. Like, there's a lot of side missions in this game. Now, if you want to complete them all, you could complete them all. There's a quite a bunch of them. And as pretty much actually every single enemy that I've encountered was able to become an Echo. Now, an Echo is the thing in this game that you are able to essentially Pokemon. You know, like, you catch a ball and you use them to fight for you. Now, it's essentially something like that. And you can use those Echoes to attack your enemies and be they'll be friendly to you. Now, there's also this this um, unique ability called Bond. Now, Bond allows you to take enemies and stuff and move them around. Like, you could take your friend, your friendly pet thing or your enemy that you turn good, and you can bond them, and then you can just fly around with them. You could also reverse Bond. Instead of moving it around, you will be stuck to him and you can fly around. Now, it's kind of a jinky physic that... You may say, well, that's just straight up cheating. That's super easy. You can defeat. Um, it's kind of hard to grab onto them. And then also, when you get a certain part of the game, um, there's a guy that is so hard that you do need like a special, super powerful guy to defeat him. I'm not going to spoil any of that. This is basically just things that we've seen in the trailer. But hey, I'm telling you. You gotta get this game. This game is good for your imagination. You put your imagination to the test. Every single dungeon you do, every single... Yes, there's dungeons in this game. Just if it wasn't clear. Because there's dungeons, that means a traditional Zelda experience. If you're part of that, you like Zelda, and you like traditional experience, you like all this stuff. Anyways, yeah, there's a lot in this game that you can do, a lot. Like, let me tell you, when I say a lot, there is a lot. Now, at first, I thought that, ah, oh, the game is just, like, it, it looks strange. But, hey, when you play around with it, wowzers. It is super, super fun. You get special powers. If you want to be a traditional Zelda experience, hey, there's even an ability for that. Ability for those of you who likes traditional things. It's called Sword Zelda or something. And you, essentially what it says, you get a sword. And you saw it in the trailer, but I'm going to just show you. It's um, really, really cool, but the only problem is you have it for about 10 seconds before you have to recharge it. You recharge it by getting these little blue particles. And yeah, it's just a fantastic way to play and use your imagination. And the objective, the main objective is kind of like the objective in Breath of the Wild. Get all of these Zoras and Gorons and Gerudo people together to help you save Link. But instead of save Link, it saves Zelda anyways. It's the other way around. But yeah, it's really amazing. It's an amazing game. Like if you haven't gotten it, I really highly recommend. This is one of the best Switch games this year. You just use your imagination and it feels so good. 
because when I was playing Tears of the Kingdom, I was having a fantastic time using my imagination, solving puzzles, solving, figuring out ways to do this, do that, do this. Anyways, it just it just feels so good when there's an like a clear path to go, but you decide to hmm, I'm gonna use my big brain and I'm gonna go and figure it out. Like at the start of the video, I actually thought that I thought that honestly that was the way to go. But uh, anyways, I went straight up and you know I I got there. There was a clear intention, a clear way, because if I wouldn't have actually gone the right way, I wouldn't have got this cool enemy, by the way. So make sure you look out for all the enemies. You scan them once, and you have them infinitely. Now, they do use this special, like, mechanic, like, star pieces, or, like, triangle pieces, triforce pieces, whatever you call it. Now, you only have a certain amount at the start of the game, and as you progress and progress and progress, you can place down more things and more things, and some of them take up more, we'll call it stamina, and more and more and more and more of your power and then you get more and then you can place more and then there you go you can place like however many triangles they'll show a little triangle icon on what you're trying to use most of the things at the beginning will be one star but if you progress after the first dungeon i believe yeah uh if you progress then you'll get yourself, you'll unlock more and more, and you'll get stronger enemies, and some enemies I wasn't even able to. I got one that was six triangle pieces, which is crazy, by the way. But anyways, um, yeah, it's a really, really fantastic game. The story seems really good, too, and it just seems really cool to being able to play a game like that. And you do get swimming right off the bat so you don't need to worry about getting your flippers like any every other game you just jump into the water and start swimming away it's kind of like breath of the wild tears of the kingdom now i want you to know though i want you to know the game it's like it's kind of open world but it's more linear world because you get this dark stuff blocking path so you have to defeat the dark stuff by figuring out ways to get around it and then yeah, it's something like that. Anyways, you have to get stronger and stronger to get rid of the dark, bad stuff. And yeah, I haven't actually beaten the game, but I can tell you from my first, like, what, what is it? Three hours? Three hours about I've played? It, it was a fantastic experience. Now, you can upgrade that sword thing. You can upgrade it by getting these little shard thingies. What are they called? power shards or something by getting a little shard thingies you can upgrade them upgrade your sword and you can up even upgrade that little stamina bar that tells you how long you can do i think mine's sitting at 13 seconds or so so it's really good and really really useful you could upgrade the sword so it does more damage and you even get cool costumes by using amiibos now i will say that the amiibos you have to get a certain progression in the game like mid game you'll be able to unlock things like special armor special foods and stuff but the beginning if you use an amiibo i guarantee it you'll get like an apple and a honey honey jar or something yeah and that's that's also a thing you can craft like it's like a lot it's a lot like tears of the kingdom you can craft things like um making smoothies and stuff and they give you buffs, they give you bonuses, they give you maybe more power in your triangle thing so you don't run out as much. Maybe more power in your sword and move faster, deal more damage, more hearts, more attack or defense up. Ah, yeah, really, 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 really cool things. Really, really, really. The opening scene is like Tears of the Kingdom. Like, actually, like, if you take a direct comparison, it looks so similar to tears of the kingdom let me tell you but anyways just a fantastic game so if you haven't bought it already i suggest highly recommend it i feel like you'll love the game i feel like you'll actually really 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 like the game and yeah what do you think about this do you think you'll get the game do you think maybe you'll hold off on the game or you're waiting for a different game i don't know let me know in the comment section down below and please i really love to know all your opinions and your comments and stuff and yeah 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And with that being said, see you in the next one.